So this has been happening a lot more frequently lately. I've been getting my table set up for my reviews for the week. I got all my bottles set up. I was getting my ideas together and the doorbell rang and it was FedEx. They had my fragrance buy package. What was carrying a brand new release here in 2024. And I never like to look at tracking for fragrance buy, especially because it's coming from Canada. Sometimes it takes about two weeks. This time it took four business days. Today we're gonna be doing my first impressions of Stronger With You Tobacco. Talking about it, doing the presentation, all that. I am super stoked. So without further ado, let's get it. What's going on my great smelling dudes? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Randy aka Fragrance Dude. Thank you guys so much for joining me for another first impression of a brand new release here in 2024. If you guys are new to my channel, make sure that you hit that subscribe button if you like my content, obviously. And then smash that like if you are new or if you're a returning customer, make sure to smash that like. Put me on the algorithm. Comment below. Let me know if you're excited about this, if you have it on the way. I know I posted it on my channel and most of the time, with the new Strong With Yous, they take like two months to finally come to Fragrance Buy, and then they come on Fragrance Buy, and then they sell out in about 30 minutes, and then you don't see them again for about six months, and then after that six months, they're like $30 less. So I like to usually buy them right away, um, just because obviously Fragrance Review Channel last time, Strong With You Oud, I missed it, but I ended up buying it later for 80 bucks, so I kind of kind of worked out. Uh, with that said, today we're going to be doing one that is a very anticipated release. I love the note of tobacco, so we have Stronger With You Tobacco by Emporio Armani. Uh, this was announced about a month and a half, two months ago. Uh, it was one of the first announcements of the year, and it just took forever to come out into Fragrance Buy. I mean, and then that was the first time it was released to everybody outside of Europe. So uh, yeah, we're just gonna open up a package here and do a little bit of the presentation. It's the normal Stronger With You box. Obviously it has those gold lines around it. This one's just red. And so yeah, I'm not gonna go too much into the box part of it because who the heck cares? I mean, just like Big Beard Business says, fuck the box. Uh, with that said, we got Stronger With You tobacco. Oh, look at that beautiful bottle. I always love their bottles. Their bottles are very elegant for a uh, high tier designer fragrance. They are borderline niche. I always said that. It's kind of like the private blend of Armani's. Um, but with that said, this is another one of their European exclusives. And I don't know if this is a limited edition um, because they have their original. They have the Intensely and the Absolutely. Then they had Freeze, which was discontinued only, which sucks. And then they uh, came out with their exclusive line, which was leather, which I just tried last night and it's actually really good. Um, doesn't have very much leather in it though. It's like an undertone suede note, uh, a lot of vanilla. With that said, I really like that. It's one of my favorites. Um, Stronger With You Oud, also very good. And then they had Stronger With You Amber. It's good, it's like a 7.5. It's just kind of like an average fragrance for me. Didn't do really much, didn't buy the bottle. With that said, now we have Stronger With You Tobacco. It's the one that I'm looking forward to the most. Even though I can tell you, throughout the entire line, you're getting a Stronger With You. No matter which way you're looking at it, it's going to smell mostly like a Stronger With You with a twist. It's Armani. You have the Aqua De Jo line. All of those Aqua De Jo's smell like Aqua De Jo with a twist. Uh, most of the Armani codes outside of like Absolu and Profumo smell like code with a twist. Because Armani doesn't do much of a change. They just kind of like, just do a little bit of a twist. Anyway, here we go. Stronger With You Tobacco. And the bottle's red. That you guys don't really care about you about that. I don't know if it's a Parfum, Eau de Parfum. Um, let's see. It's an Eau de Parfum. All right, so I'm going to spray it on my hand here and get it primed and talk to you guys what is about what it's about that's actually really good that's really nice oh i like that that's really good man it's not what i was expecting at all man wow it kind of has the stronger with you absolutely style dna 
again, it's going to still smell like a stronger with you at some point. But there is this kind of like pink pepper, red pepper, maybe like a benzoin or elemy or something like that mixture here in the opening that kind of reminds me of like stronger with you or uh, stronger with you. Absolutely. Mixed together with uh, spice bomb infrared. Has a little bit of almost like a fruity tone here in the opening too, but it's spicy. It has that nuttiness that you get from the stronger with you DNA. There's actually not much tobacco here though. There might be like a slight tobacco leaf underneath the whole thing, but yeah, spicy, almost like a slight fruitiness here in the opening, but Pink pepper, red pepper, maybe like, again, like an Elemi or Benzoin providing a little bit of this like resinous sweetness. Um, but it has a little bit of a feeling of like a Spice Bomb Infrared touch to it. So if you like Spice Bomb Infrared, at least here in the opening, it does smell like it's changing. So that might just be the opening like minute or two, but oh, this is good. Again, we're talking about Stronger With You Tobacco. Yes. So at this point in time, uh, my favorite freshie from the line is uh, Freeze. There's only two of them, Freeze and Only. Uh, I guess you could consider the Eau de Toilette in there, but I would say my favorite in the line is uh, for the freshies are, is Freeze. And out of the rest, my favorite is either Leather or uh, Absolutely. Probably Absolutely takes the cake for me. But this one's up there. I mean, this one's up there as probably better than those two. Just be, if the opening of this is any sign of what's to come in the dry down i could see this being my number one or two in the line hmm yeah that's really freaking good so again here in the opening again it, it smells familiar so you do have mixtures of other fragrances that are out there but the way that it's blended is quite nice because I was expecting it just to be like how stronger with you Ood just kind of smelled like a dialed down stronger with you intensely with a darker woods in the opening. I thought that was going to be something like this, but this has kind of almost like a boozy tone to it that has this warm spices that you get from like a pink pepper or red pepper mixture. Um, and then you have like a benzoin or elemi or something like that, providing a little bit of this sweet and spicy kind of like side by side it, it smells like absolutely mixed together with strong uh with uh um spice bomb infrared but it is changing uh, i can already tell you that so what i am going to do is i'm going to put you guys on hold for about 30 minutes to 45 minutes while we can get into the mid into the dry down and kind of give you guys a little bit of an idea of how this does dry down again after about a week i come back and do a full review this is just my opening thoughts. So again, I will be back in about 30 minutes. All right, my dudes. So we are back. It has actually been 50 minutes and I'm telling you, this is one of the best in the line. It is stronger with you tobacco. Again, this is my opening thoughts of that opening hour mark. I do usually my first impressions, the opening five minutes. And then after about 30 minutes to a half hour or 30 minutes to a half hour, same thing. Um, but this time I decided to wait 50 minutes because it was changing. And so I do want to let you know that Spice Bomb Infrared Touch in the opening five minutes, it is only just that opening five minutes. After that, it changes completely into something different. But it's not a negative change. It's something that I actually really like. Still does smell like something else, but I'm just telling you. So the way that this fragrance again opens, strong with you tobacco, it opens up with this pink pepper, red pepper, kind of like best of both worlds with the spice and then some sweetness coming from like a resinous sweetness of this like elmi chestnut. So you do get that nuttiness in there. You do get that resinous sweetness. Um, and then you also do get a little bit of a pimento tone after about four to five minutes. That also reminds me of that spice bomb infrared. Um, but then you also have this boozy quality, which is also in spice and strong with you absolutely. So in the opening five minutes only, it's strong with you absolutely meets spice bomb infrared, kind of put together with a little bit of a boozy tone, which is again also in strong with you absolutely. After that, it starts to change. I told you that there's a little bit of a dry tobacco leaf that was in the opening, but not much. As we got about 10 to 15 minutes into the fragrance, that dry tobacco leaf starts to pull up. It never becomes like a main part of the fragrance. It's only about 15 to 20% of it. 
Um, but it is noticeable and it's very nice. Um, it's doesn't smell synthetic or anything like that, but very nice dry tobacco leaf that is kind of lingering throughout at least the first 50 minutes. It doesn't seem to be going away at this point in time. Um, but in place of that, um, spice bomb infrared, I, I, I don't know if it's just me, but it kind of smell, I had to get this out. It kind of smells like this side effect mixed together with stronger with you. Absolutely. There's a boozy sweetness that kind of comes in and it's not as sweet as what you get with a new initio side effect, but it does have very similar features of what you get in this. So if you like side effect, I'm telling you, there are parts of side effect that are mixed in with that stronger with you DNA, that nutty kind of LME mixture with a little bit of booze and the way that the booze and sweetness and spice and all that mixes together. It almost smells like if you were to mix stronger with you, absolutely with an issue of side effect. Um, it's kind of, I like to do comparisons. I like to give you guys an idea of what things smell like. So again, the opening strong with you, there is that DNA throughout. And if I had to compare it to one of the stronger with yous, it's strong with you. Absolutely. Because it's boozy. It's a little bit darker, a little bit more resinous, uh, has a little bit more spice to it and it's smooth. What does that compare to? It compares to either stronger with you, Oud or stronger with you. Absolutely. I'm choosing absolutely because of the booze. Then again, that opening had that spice bomb infrared style, almost like fruity red pepper, pink pepper mixture that kind of went out the window at five minutes. And then you get even more booze. You get some of that tobacco and every, all of those things are also in side effect. And I can tell you it's, it's, it, it's there. I mean, side effect is definitely there. If you don't smell side effect in this at some point in time in the fragrance, then I'm not sure what you're smelling. Um, but the tobacco leaf is starting to, after about 30 minutes to 45 minutes, the tobacco leaf, I actually, while I was waiting for the dry down, I was messaging somebody cause I posted it as my scent of the day. That's what this is. My scent of the day. And I messaged somebody, I don't get much tobacco. Five minutes later, I was like, oops, sorry. I do get a lot of tobacco. The tobacco starts to come in. And so I was saying on my live stream yesterday that, with other fragrances in the line, like Strong With You Leather, you don't get a crap ton of leather. It's just an undertone of suede. Um, it's it. I was really hoping that the tobacco in this would be prevalent, and it is. Is it my style of tobacco that I love? Like Parfums de Marley Herod has that moist tobacco? No, this is a dry, leafy tobacco. This fragrance is going to be more for a business casual man, somebody who likes to keep themselves clean, but also likes to be a bold statement maker. That's what this fragrance is for. I mean, stronger with you line to all together. Isn't going to be a fragrance that you smell on everybody. That's why it's a European exclusive. But if you want to be a bold statement maker, you're a little bit business casual. You want to be uh, great smelling on a date night. That's what this is for. This is going to be a fall and winter frag fragrance through and through. I would not wear it in the heat. Definitely not heat fragrance. This is going to be worn in the same situations as absolutely as Oud. Um, if there is any vanilla in this, like the rest of the line, it's not very prevalent at this point in time. We're looking at again, a little bit of LME, a little bit, uh, a lot of bit of spice. It's a spicy tobacco fragrance at its heart right here with some booze undertoning it. And then a little bit of spice and woods. I would give this at this point in time, like an eight, seven. I think it's great. I think that's stronger with you tobacco. If you can get your hands on this, at least a decant, try it out. It is one of the best in the line. If you enjoy this line at all and you like the note of tobacco, you are going to like this fragrance. Um, stronger with you tobacco is great. Uh, as far as how long it lasts, again, I will be back with a full review in about seven to 10 days, and I'm very excited to wear it throughout the day to see how long it lasts, but I can't see it lasting any less than like eight to 10 hours. This it, it's pushing out right now above average. It's not filling a room, but it's a very nice, um, again, this is going to be like a business casual date night style fragrance for the cold weather. And this is going to be one that is going to be smelled three, four, five feet away, maybe. Um, again, I haven't tested it, 
but it's not going to be smelled across the room, which is the style of fragrance that I like. Above average, while not seeping too close to your skin. Uh, so that is Stronger With You Tobacco. I am very excited to see where that goes, if it still smells like side effect after two hours. But again, Stronger With You absolutely meets Spice Bomb Infrared in the opening five minutes, and then Stronger With You absolutely meets Initio side effect for the next 45 minutes to ha um, 45 minutes to an hour. That's what we're looking at now. If you like any of those fragrances, give this one a shot. Uh, let me know if you guys have tried it, if you agree with me, disagree with me, any, anything like that. Just a very nice tobacco fragrance with some, some sweet and spiciness and a little bit of booziness underneath there that was a bit more prominent in the opening. So yeah, I'm not going to keep you guys here anymore. Really like it. Uh, tell me your thoughts. And again, I will be back with another one. Thank you guys so much. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace out.